everybody so we're about to go out the house literally i just want to get out the house i don't have i mean i could be like i need to go get a money order for sure so i'm gonna do that while i'm out and we're gonna go to the cheesecake factory right now so i don't think i'm eating any any food honestly but i have a free cheesecake slice that um expires tomorrow i'm not really hungry that's why i'm not eating any food but when i get hungry later on in the, the day I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A because I have a um, coupon for a free chicken sandwich and I have points where I can get like a free fry or something. So, and then later on the day, I'm going to hop on my Dunkin app. If y'all don't have the Dunkin, the Dunkin app, I'm going to need for y'all to go get it because when I say, that's why I barely be buying Starbucks these days because I make my own coffee at home and then, and then the Dunkin app be giving me so much free shit or discounted shit is crazy. I'm going to hop on the Dunkin app and I'm going to give me something free off on the app. So yeah, um, I am going to buy me an alcohol beverage from somewhere. I, oh, I want to go to the water tower. I don't know if I'm going to get the um, beverage from the water tower or the Cheesecake Factory. But yeah, I'm going to go get my free cheesecake slice. Um, do a little decor shopping. And yeah, y'all, that's it. So let's go. Y'all, let me tell y'all about these fucking people and learn from my mistake. And yes, call me all type of idiots and dumb bitches because I was one. To make a long story short, on December 21st, I went to go look at an apartment. But December 22nd, I, they sent me an email. I wasn't denied for the apartment, but they wanted me to have extra requirements that we didn't agree to previously. So I denied the apartment. Said I get my money back in 7 to 10 business days, y'all. It's been a, Today's January 3rd. I'm finally able to talk to somebody and they said my refund will be processed today, which is January the 3rd. Bitch, why was it not processed on Jan on December 22nd, like y'all said? Mind y'all, I paid these people. I paid these people $888 for an apartment that basically I never got. Don't be like me. If you a man, bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them the lights down right now. Me in the moon. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go. Look at these zodiac sign candles. I'm gonna get the Capricorn since my baby a Capricorn. But look, they're so cute. I'm gonna just go ahead and get this because y'all know I've been wanting it. But this is the cheapest I've ever seen. Just let me get it now. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I'm finna make my coffee. But y'all, I want to... Y'all saw me yesterday when I was at Target. I got some candles. I didn't show y'all what type of candles I got. So, I got this berry mandarin grapefruit shit. It smells so good. Oh, it smells good. My thing with candles, though... Shit. <laughs> my thing with candles and perfumes, I be wanting scents to last on me all day or just last all day i don't like stuff to smell good but like after a while it's gonna fade away i don't like that oh shit this camera it's hyper crazy okay and then this one is don't mind that that's a mirror this one is bourbon pumpkin it smells good but i like that mandarin whatever that is better and then just lastly, I did show y'all this one. This is going to be a decor candle. I ain't going to ever like this. It really don't smell good. I just really wanted it for the decor purposes. But yeah, I'm just packing. I'm debating if I'm going to go out. Um, I don't know. Okay, so y'all, y'all saw that I bought the Nespresso machine. I bought the Nespresso machine, but y'all, my coffee situation ship it's about to be on a whole new level, y'all. So, I went to Sarani.com website. Because I be seeing Sarani syrups in, like, Burleson's and CJ Maxx. Sometimes they have flavors I like. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I normally try the same old flavors, but I don't know. I went on the actual website. I ordered, like, six or seven new coffee syrups. I'm going to go to, how do you say that coffee syrup? Mo Monine? Y'all know the M-O, however you say the shit. I'm going to go to their website. They got two flavors I want. I think I'm going to go back. On Sarani, 
and like order a few more flavors. Then about like a coffee syrup rack. When I say when this coffee situation ship finna be fire, when I'm done with it, it's gonna be so fire. I don't understand when people break up, why keep ties? Like why try to, don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not gonna worry about what you doing. Let's be grown and realistic for a second. Breakups do hurt, they fucking hurt. But eventually you move on, you realize I'm a bad bitch or fuck that person or you just get yourself together, right? So it don't hurt as bad. That being said, bitch, don't wait till I fucking heal my motherfucking self and I'm back on my shit and I'm just in a different hair space for you to try to bring your ass back in my life. Like, no, bitch, don't do that. Don't, if we dealt with each other in the past, keep that shit in the past. Like, I know for me personally, I'm one of those people, I'm like, I don't wish bad things on my exes or people I used to deal with. I don't wish bad things on you. But I don't want you in my space, in my presence, in my life, any of that. So, 2023, bitch, don't reach out to me. Y'all, this was just on my mind. I don't know why it was on my mind, but... Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't know why this was on my mind. But, um... Well, I, I, I don't know. I would just walk up in a good mood in general. Then I just got some news about one of my cousins... She's okay now, but she um was going through a little mental health issue at the moment. She's okay now, thank God. So I wanted to just pray for her, but I wanted to pray for everybody. So no, I ain't no preacher. I ain't no preacher. And I ain't into my Bible like I should be. But can I pray for y'all? Is that okay? I don't just want to pray. I want to pray for everybody. So don't judge me. I ain't a preacher, but I don't know. Some of my spirit, I just want to pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you today just simply saying thank you. Um, thank you for this thing called life. Thank you for waking me up, my family up, my daughter, um, just everybody, Lord. Um, thank you for waking those up who I do not even know personally. Thank you for waking up my subscribers and my friends and just everyone. Thank you for not taking your hands off of us. And I ask that you cleanse our hearts. You forgive us for our wrongdoings and you help us become better people. I ask that you give us the strength for us to become better people. I ask that you do not take your hands off us and continuously, continuously guide us. I ask that you remove any hatred in our hearts and just thank you. Thank you for the little things. Thank you for us to have, thank you for me to even have the ability to speak right now, to even say this prayer. Thank you for those around me who I don't say thank you enough. Thank you for just me having the littlest things in life. I don't know. If we don't have anything else in this life, Lord, I ask that you bless us all with good health, Lord. Please heal us from our sicknesses and give us strength on the days we feel the most weakened. I ask that you give us a sign that our loved ones that are with you in heaven, give us a sign to let us know that they're okay so we don't ever doubt you, Lord. Some days we feel at our lowest. Some days we don't understand. But I ask that you remove that from us. And the, we, we don't question you even during our darkest moments, Lord. It's just overall, thank you. Please forgive me for any wrongdoings I have done. And just please, please, please just never take your hands off me. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah, I feel like I really had the best upbringing because I grew up in church all the way up until my high school years. I grew up in church from a little kid to my high school years. I was in church, but I'm still with the shits. I'm from the hood. But I was also raised in suburbs, if that makes sense. I was raised in the hood, but I spent a lot of time in the suburbs growing up. In my auntie's house. Um, my auntie's house, I had two separate. I can't, I had two aunties. I spent a lot of house. I spent a lot of time at. But um I just I just like I had the best of both worlds. Like I'm I'm book smart, but I'm street smart. I don't know. I just love how I grew up. I wouldn't change it. But I don't know, it was just on my heart. I just want to pray. I'm not <laughs> I'm not your pastor, but I don't know which is on my heart, so yeah. Beat that bitch. Beat a Beyonce. Beat her. Gonna have a Don't touch me. <laughs> don't you not to touch me. Beat that bitch, Beyonce. Beat her. <laughs> now 
Now this part is definitely some movie shit. We look at these flavors. Bam! And then you got... Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, because I really drink coffee for real. And I just found that you need an espresso machine. Bitch, don't play with me. everything i got and then i'm officially in that video so hold on okay so the stores i went to was dd's Dee discount and jewel osco so i got me a chicken caesar salad it's a chicken salad say it now chicken salad got me a caesar chicken salad y'all know jewels have the best salads i got me some pringles when i go to work tonight um I got me this fresh pressed juice. It was $2.99. Um, actually, let me try this on camera. I didn't even know Jules did this. Had stuff like this. I'm only going to take a sip to save it. Throw that away. Throw that away. <laughs> I do not recommend. Hell no. Um tissue Clorex wipes again I work um I work tonight so I just like to always have some type of like disinfectant wipes on me when I work in the nursing field just some silverware you know disposable silverware this was on sale for $175 or $150 at Jules I told y'all that I've been liking the uh, peppermint whipped cream with my coffee the first peppermint whipped cream I got from Aldi's this one came from Jules I might get one more too just to rack up because I know eventually all the Christmassy stuff will be. This one came from DD's for three forty nine. dollars So you put your bread in here mm -hmm. instead of, you know, putting it, putting it in a knot like most of us black folks do. Just some ice. Gonna make me iced coffee. That's sitting out still. I got me some French bread. Gonna make pulled pork sliders. Got me a welcome mat. Shit. Welcome back. I'm almost done. I think. Just my baby some towels. This creamer was also on sale. They had like a sale on holiday, like holiday flavor stuff at Jules. $1.50. This is my baby's. Just my, my outfit. This is mine. I thought it was cute and was kind of getting like grown ladyish. I just thought it was cute. For the bathroom. This is my baby. This is full price. Best fucking creamer ever. The best oh oh wait. No. No. I thought this was oat milk. This is almond. I like oat milk. It's probably still good, but oh my god. I never would have paid five dollars for some almond creamer. I don't like almond milk like that. Ugh. I just got on the wipe. This is some room spray. It was $1.99. It's called white pumpkin scent. Don't know how it smells. I just know I need a room spray. Almost done. Almost done. This is just some clear cups. Isn't this so cute? For the kitchen. That's a clock? Yeah. Decor purpose. This is so cute, right? Move your plate. Move your plate so I'm gonna knock it open. Hey, this is a new bathroom. Rug. Cute, right? That's mm -hmm. the candle holder. Mm -hmm. 
these are actual curtains, but I'm using as a shower. A shower. These are like window curtains, but I'm using as a shower curtain because that's been a new thing on TikTok, and I like how it look. So shirt, shower curtain, rug, batteries. This is really why I went outside today. I need no more batteries for my remote. I got these Febreze Gang candles, and they hide. Oh, and let me, I know I showed y'all my coffee creamers, but let me really show y'all like the flavors. Mm -hmm. So this one is pumpkin pie pure made sauce. This is pumpkin pie sauce. So I might make me a pumpkin pie drink today and a pair of these too. This one is shortbread. And all of these cream, the sauce was like $6 and these actual syrups was like $10 for an actual Serrani website. Now, if you get them at like Rouse or um, TJ Maxx, you'll save like about two, three dollars. This is butter pecan, bourbon caramel, brown sugar cinnamon. Yeah, bitch, don't play with me. I take this coffee serious. Chocolate macadamia nuts. And chocolate chip cookie dough. So that is it, you guys. Thank you for hanging in with me. I'm about to wrap up this vlog again. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. I did not end the video, so now we finna end the video now. But of course, I had to use my new flavors on camera, baby. 
when I say this tastes like a tootsie roll in a cup, okay, um, I'll get a drink of a six out of a six and a half out of ten. It's good. I didn't have better. It is good, but y'all, this tastes just like a tootsie roll. Okay, y'all. So before we leave for real, y'all, I've been liking TikTok lately. I think TikTok is my favorite new social media. So follow me on TikTok. I'm starting to be a little active on them. So I'm going to just have my name against the screen. But follow me on TikTok, y'all. TikTok is so much fun.